How's it? Today is Wednesday, June 24th. Um, just a clean and jerk day. Real simple. Um, kind of just an extension of what it was last week. Keep in mind that last week I had a kind of lighter load because I went to the driving range after those squats on Tuesday of last week. Uh, earlier in this week, again, Monday was just probably the worst day I've had all year. It's probably going to be the worst day I've had. I'll have this year, hopefully. Um, and yesterday was was pretty good. I, I did uh, pretty good back squats and, and it, it felt pretty good. But today was just really off. I didn't feel like I was completely um, working out and like, like in the zone. And towards the end of the workout, I actually had to cut out the two um, final accessory movements, which were, if I remember, were like the bent over rows and then the um, dumbbell overhead walks. Um, I had to cut them out because I just felt very lightheaded, very weak, very sluggish. And that's just not usually how I ever feel. Um, when I'm lifting weights, I feel like that all the time um, outside of the gym and outside of training, but not when I'm lifting weights. So yeah, with that, uh, said, here's my first top set of power jerks. So I went up to 220 this week. Um, I just do doubles. I probably should have let it fall on the block because these were not the best. And I, and I want to say that it's kind of attributed to me having to catch the weight from overhead. So right here. Uh, and that's because um, my upper back, or I say that because my upper back was just in a lot of like achy kind of real nagging pain. And um, that's not how I've been feeling lately as far as jerks go. And so when that happens, I can't get a good um, tempo. I can't get good cadence on the way I'm, I dip and drive. So these were harder than they should have been. But I mean, I got them all. I felt like I was going to fail a few of them, but um, luckily I didn't. I don't know if I can tolerate any more failing this week. So, yeah, and then after that, I just did some power clean plus hang clean um, complexes up to 230, which, again, was just uh, a weight extension from what it was last week. And it's not super impressive, and it's not super hard either. I just felt, like, really out of it uh, today. And that would be my last power jerk here, and then I move it to those um, clean complexes. Um, pretty much the whole time my hips felt really good. Uh, not, not too much to say about that. I think it seems like my training has kind of corrected for my, my hip. And I don't want to say that it's completely gone because it's definitely not. But I know that I think about it much less when I'm lifting. And that's kind of the whole goal. And I, I'll continue to do all the proper um, outside work and accessory work and prehab, rehab type stuff so that I I get, um, I can maintain this healthy, healthy level of movement. One thing I was thinking about on this day, um, on uh, <laughs> this day, I think I was thinking about today was how to maintain my forward shin angle as I dip into the hang. Um, kind of, it's not too big of an issue for the clean. It's more so an issue for the snatch. So I was trying to figure out the best way to get to that position. And I think that, um, I think that is, was messing with my timing, but it didn't feel too bad. You know, it didn't feel like anything different. Was my first set. I guess uh, to give a little bit of context, 230 is not a weight that I ever expect to miss on the power clean, but it's definitely a weight that I need to like try. Uh, 225 is very similar to that, but like say like 205 is a weight that I know I'll never miss, and um, 
I don't really have to try. Uh, like, I mean, obviously, I will do my best to put an effort for all of them. But 230, I'd say 225 to around 240 is that range. And then 245 is kind of like I might miss uh, a couple of those. So here's my best um, set for the par clean for sure. Um, and yeah, pretty good on my clean as well. I think my timing, I just said it was a little bit off, but I, I don't know that that one actually looked pretty good. So, um, I moved into some clean deadlift triples after that. He said to lower the weight so that I can pull real quickly from the floor so that it's not as um, slow as if I had started at 230. And then, um, I worked up to 295 last week without a belt. So today I work up to 315 with a belt. He said anything over 300, I should put a belt on because I don't want my speed off the floor to be compromised. So uh, I was trying to, to have a good braking speed and uh, accelerate through the lift. It doesn't really look like it, <laughs> but some of the mispositions are because of that speed, not because I am technically inadequate but you know I digress so here's um, this is the first time I, I've used this belt for real any uh, weightlifting type stuff I usually just use it for squats because I don't like this belt um, I don't like the thickness of this belt and I don't like the sturdiness of the belt the belt that I, I re really like is uh, the hook grip belt the hook grip white leather belt um, I have it at school so unfortunately it's just not home uh, so I, I won't be able to use it until I get back to school. That belt's um, a little bit thinner and a little bit stretchier, so it's it's a lot more comfortable. So here's my top set, um, 315. Again, I'm just doing triples. So these aren't too challenging. Um, my speed here is regrettably a little bit slower than I would have liked, but I'm pretty happy with how that went. And to finish off, I did some clean RDLs. Uh, with a shrug so this is 200 pounds uh, I do six sets of five and this set or these were much better than they were last week and I'm uh, definitely really happy with how they look and how they feel uh, I feel like I'm getting a lot more range of motion and I feel it more but yeah that's it thanks for watching shoots